So in this problem, we're trying to figure out the percent abundance uh, of these two different isotopes of europium, 151 and 153. And one of the challenges with that is because they're going to be different percentages, we're going to have to represent those as different values. And so what we've just chose, I've cho chosen X and Y, um, X to represent the 151 and Y to represent the 153. And so if you see, this is kind of the standard uh, form of the equation, the average mass um, of the isotopes equals the actual mass of the isotopes times the mass percent. Um, and you're going to add that the actual mass of the other isotope times its mass percent. Now, one of the tricks in order to um, really be successful in solving this is we have to understand this relationship between these two. If we were to add those percentages up, they would equal um, 100, or in this case, since we're dealing with the decimal form, they would equal 1. So I know that X plus Y equals 1. Now, from this, I can also um, isolate one of these variables. In this case, we'll do x. And so I know that x, in this case, equals 1 minus y. And so this will help me to set up my um, equation in these terms. And so um, it def does take a few steps here, but we'll take a look and uh, set this up. So now, if I have x times the 150.9196 plus y times the 152.9209 and this all equals the 151.96. So what I'm going to do is substitute this x here uh, into the x for my equation, so I just have y. So I'm going to plug that x value uh, right into there. And so I'll be able to rewrite my equation in terms of y, and so now I will have 1 minus y times the 150.9196 plus y times the 152.9209 equals the 151.96. I'll distribute the 150.9196 into um, this part here. So 150.916 times 1 is 150.9196. And 150.916 times negative y is going to give me negative 150.9196y. And I will add this to the 152.9209y. Notice I just put the y there in the end as it should be, and this equals 151.96. Now it's just a, mat a matter of just kind of doing the simple algebra. Uh, we'll go ahead and subtract um, from both sides this amount. And so if, if you subtract 151.96 uh, minus the 150.9196 minus 151.96, we get that equals. So once again, if I do 151.96 minus 150.9196. This equals 1.40. Oh, excuse me. 1.04. Now, if we take a look. Um, and we're going to combine our y's, and so we'll do this um, on the next page. So now I have the negative 150.9196y plus the 152.9209y equals the 1.0404. If I combine those uh, two terms, we can see we've got the negative 
uh, there. So negative 150. 0.916 plus 152. If we plug that into our calculator. We get 2.0013. Y equals 1.0404. Now it's just a matter of subtracting both sides by the 2.0013. So if I subtract this side by 2.0013, that will cancel this side by 2.0013, I'm now left in terms of y we're dividing both sides by that number. Now y equals 0.5199 which is 51.99 percent. To figure out x we did see that x in this case, we'll equal 1 minus the y, 0.5199, which will give me 0.48, which is thus 48%. So my y value, if I go back, my y was the 153, so y for EU. 153 equals 51.99% 51, 51 and my x value for the EU 151 equals 